In this video, we'll review the event logs and reports features of iQ. First, let's look at the system status at the bottom of the iQ home screen. This is a heads-up display with icons for indicators that you need to pay attention to. Starting from left to right, the little red bell lists any alarms. The next icon is for warnings. The third icon displays the number of satellites that are out of sync. Program changes may have been made in IQ, but that information has not yet been sent to the satellites. The fourth icon indicates whether there were changes made at the satellites that you need to review. Next is rain delay. The sixth icon indicates satellites that are in the off position. And the last icon is a communications monitor, which shows the number of current connections. And to the right of that, you'll see the last three things the system has done. This information is going into the event logs in real time, which we'll look at next. These system status indicators are actually buttons. If we click on alarms, we'll see an alarm for the Adeline's farm site, specifically the Spun Cotton Park satellite. The alarm shows that an automatic synchronize event failed. Now, once you've taken care of the issue, you can acknowledge the alarm and it will be removed from your task list. Now click OK. Any information that is retrieved from the satellites through your retrieve log contacts will be visible on the event log screen. As you can see, the events are date and time stamped in chronological order. This provides a step-by-step -step account of what the system is doing down to the satellite level, including stations turning on and off, programming starts and ends, etc. This information is used to create several reports in the system. Note that on any screen where you see this printer icon at the top of the screen, you can click on it to create a printable version of the report. If you have a PDF printer utility on your computer, such as PDF Creator, you can create a PDF and email directly to someone as an attachment. Next, let's click on the Create Reports button to view the default reports. Site Configuration Report, Satellite Configuration Report, and Program Report are all hard copies of what you'd see in either the Program or Configuration screens. Station Runtime Report is very useful. This report captures the total station runtime per program, as well as any manually operated functions for the past month. It provides an estimated flow, or if you have a flow sensor installed, it will give you the actual flow. On this particular system, you can see the total runtime for each station over the past month, as well as the estimated flow. In the manual column under Station 2, you can see that it was manually started for 5 minutes and 1 second, so that's also included in your total runtime. The total runtime and total estimated flow is at the bottom of the report. Again, if you have a flow sensor installed, you will see the actual flow. The flow report tracks a flow sensor's month-over-month -month flow and allows you to print that out. The flow graph report shows minute-by-minute -minute flow. The screen looks very similar to the dry run screen, but it overlays actual minute-by-minute -minute flow over the theoretical flow and allows you to see differences. The IQNet configuration report shows your configurations for multi-controller sites. And finally, the PIN code audit report allows you to see what has occurred, including what PIN code was used, as well as the date and time of the access. PIN code protection must be turned on for the satellite to enable this feature. 